Hello there, my name is Jason Perkins. I'm a Georgia workers' compensation attorney. I specialize in helping injured workers and their family with workers' compensation claims. Today I want to talk to you about temporary partial disability benefits, and specifically whether you should be receiving temporary partial disability benefits if you're back at light duty work. Let's talk first about what temporary partial disability benefits are. Basically, they're wage loss benefits that you receive if you're able to do some sort of work, but you're still earning less money because of your injury. These benefits are paid based on the money that you were able to earn after your injury and comparing it to your average weekly wage before your injury. Now, your average weekly wage is what's used to determine the full wage loss benefits that you receive in Georgia known as temporary total disability if you're completely out of work because of your injury. Average weekly wage usually looks at the 13 weeks that you work before your injury and comes up with an average wage. With temporary partial disability, that average wage is compared to what you're able to earn after your injury. And if you're losing money, say you were able to earn $500 after your injury, but your average weekly wage before your injury was $800, so you're losing $300 a week, then you'll receive two-thirds of that difference of $300 a week or $200 a week in temporary partial disability benefits. So what does this have to do with going back to light duty work? Well, a lot of times when people return to light duty work after an injury, they don't earn as much as they did before they got hurt. They may be working a different job that pays less per hour, or they might not be able to work as many hours per week so that they earn less even though they're earning the same amount per hour. In either one of these situations, that person should be receiving temporary partial disability benefits. Another reason that people often receive temporary partial disability benefits when they're back at light duty work is that they're still getting medical treatment and that medical treatment is causing them to miss time from work. This often happens with physical therapy where somebody is back at work but has to miss time from work to go to physical therapy. And because of that, they end up with less hours work per week and they earn less. Um, and these are some classic situations where people should be receiving temporary partial disability benefits. I will tell you that temporary partial disability benefits is the benefits the insurance companies most often don't pay when they're supposed to pay. I see many situations where people for months or potentially even a year or more should have been getting temporary partial disability benefits and they're not receiving them. So if you're back at work on light duty, you definitely need to check about whether you're eligible for temporary partial disability benefits if the insurance company is not paying them to you voluntarily. If you've got questions about that or any other workers' compensation issue, I'd be happy to talk to you. You can set up a free consultation with me either by calling me at 770-214-8885 or by visiting our website, perkinslawtalk.com. I hope you found this information helpful today. If you have, please let me know. The best way to do that is by giving this video a thumbs up on YouTube. Thanks for watching today and best of luck to you as you recover from your injury.